Hi, I'm Jane Brecken. I'm being joined today by Rosie Kuhn, and we are going to be talking about deep recovery, um, the fourth part of our interview series on the workshop being held in, on Gull Lake on August 13th and 14th. Welcome, Rosie. Thanks, Jane. It's nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to have you here. So, Thank Rosie, you. today, I'm wondering if we could talk a little bit more about the... the um, distinguish a bit from folks that are doing some counseling, folks that are maybe in treatment for addiction recovery, folks that are considering some life coaching. And I'm, I would love to refer to your book called M.E. Me, 101 Indispensable Insights I Didn't Get in Therapy. Could we talk about that a bit today? Sure. So, Great. so this book... Um, Prior to being doing the work that I do now, I was a therapist uh, in Nova Scotia. I worked in the field of recovery for uh, almost 10 years. Uh, and so a lot of what I write about and a lot of what I uh, think about is what I didn't get in therapy, but I get from uh, this process called life coaching. Uh, for me, life coaching, and especially this work, we'll, call it, we'll talk about transformational coaching in a second, but for me, life coaching is a set of skills. It's just a set of skills, a set of questions, if you were, well, and it's, it's a way of working with individuals who have the capacity and the desire to be accountable in their own lives for their own reality. So in a sense, life coaches more than, I mean, as much as therapists and counselors and people working in addiction recovery, we're wanting to empower people. We're wanting to empower people to empower themselves to become more and more accountable for what shows up in their life. Yeah, that means good stuff and the not so good stuff. So life coaching is very specific in terms of being inquiry based. It asks a lot of questions of people because it, it, it comes from the foundation or the principle that people already know what's right and good and what's their highest uh, contribution in the world. They already know that. And if we ask them the questions, they can answer them most of the time. So coaching is based on inquiry, which we ask questions whether the, rather than telling people what to do or what to think or how they think. So that's number one. Number two is all of us are wanting something. We want uh, we want uh, serenity, we want happiness, we want fulfillment, we want partnership, we want connection, we want engagement, we want prosperity. We have these wants. And until someone asks, actually asks us what those wants are, then we don't necessarily uh, uh, think about it that way. So a person who wants recovery, it's like, what are they wanting? Well, we say, well, I want to stop drinking alcohol, or I want to stop substance abuse, or I, I, I want to stop the panic attacks, or I want to stop the depression. But we say, well, what's this? What is it? If you, you know, what will you have when you stop the depression, the anxiety, the substance abuse? What will you have? And they'll say, well, I'll have the ability to to go to work and to uh, participate in life in the way I want to. It's like, okay, great. What will you have when you can go to work and participate in life the way you want to? They go, hmm. So. So we're getting to the source of, it's like, what's their fundamental desires? Right, right. If we don't, so, go, go ahead. Go. And the, the, the set of skills piece, because I, I, it's really, I can relate to that in my own experience. Of, so, so I've been, you know, acting as a therapist and counselor for many years. And, and so this life coaching set of skills for me was extremely helpful in that I just, it, it, the inquiry, I, I learned a little bit more about the importance of the inquiry piece. And so I just really feel that this workshop is going to be wonderful for those folks that are doing this work that do want to sort of um, gain this set of skills that you're talking about, just as I have. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, so thank you it, for that. And it's sometimes challenging because we have to attend to the principles of what do we believe about people. So in a sense, what I believe about people is they already know. I don't have to tell them much. Sometimes I do, or sometimes they need some education. 
or some experience, direct experience that's going to give them the knowledge and what they need. But quite often I can just ask the questions and, and they have the answer. So uh, the four questions I'll just give you really quickly that I okay. ask is, what do you want? Okay. What do you want? I want serenity. Okay. What are the obstacles in the way? Number two, what obstacles are in the way of you having serenity and peace and connection and belonging? What's, what's, what's the obstacles in the way? Or even what's in the obstacle to your recovery or what's the obstacle to giving up depression? Now, some people can't feel, believe that they can't choose, but I believe that we can choose to move in the direction and be accountable for what shows up. That's, that's a number two accountability piece of this work that we do as coaches is people are saying, hey, I want this in my life. And it's like, great, what will you be doing to make that happen? Hmm. So question number three is, number one is, what do you want? Number two, what's the obstacle in the way? Number three, what needs to shift so that you can have that? And they'll answer it. They'll tell you, my attitude uh, living my living situation, where I'm working, how I take care of myself, they'll tell you what needs to shift. Wow. Number four is, so what will you practice to shift that? Okay. So now, there it is. The very simple, very elegant, easy. And right. now it's walking the talk, right? It's like, yeah, now let's, let's go in, let's do it. Let's do the work. Right, and that's right. the level of accountability and personal empowerment. How much am I willing to really step into this work? And the more that I'm willing to mm-hmm. step into it and sense immerse myself in this real uh, process of, of self-exploration and self-evolving to my fulfillment, uh, that's the de- degree to which I'm willing to dive deep uh, into this recovery right. process. Right. Hence the deep recovery. Hence the deep recovery. I have just, oh, I have just so many more questions to ask. So we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to keep going. And so, so how about we just cut it off for here, and then uh, next next time we can talk a little bit more specifically about about those four questions and a little bit, if you will. Could we do that next time? Sure. Sure. Be happy to. Okay. All right. Thanks, Rosie. You're welcome. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.